<laughs> oh man. Hello everyone. Welcome once again to BD Live, the Dungeons and Dragons live stream where a bunch of high school friends attempt to play Dungeons and Dragons remotely via the internet. With us as always, we have Aaron as Lily the Fighter, Tim as Twizzard the Wizard, Stephen as Finric the Monk, and Chris as Plyus the Cleric will be joining us shortly. I'm Sean, your ever faithful and humble DM, and this is BD Live. Let's do a quick recap from uh, from last session here. It was uh, it was DePaul around 6 p.m. Uh, and you all went back uh, to the castle and sort of confirmed by using the compass, did a little uh, roundabout that Falrath is in fact in the castle. Uh, you sent the pseudo dragon, uh, Polias the pseudo dragon, to do a little uh, reconnaissance, maybe alert you if uh, you if he spotted a tall gray haired man with no. Uh, you know, coming out of the castle, but uh, that did not really yield any success. Uh, you also bought some Spin Whistlers uh, fireworks off the street. The next morning, to solve breakfast of buttery buns, uh, and then you headed over to Spear and Spool after talking to Suave for a bit. Twizzard uh, ended up paying 10 gold for a fabulous custom tailored outfit. Oh, um, fancy. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Um, then you went uh, to Tinuan Meadows uh, to meet up with who you hoped would be Hildegard based on the note that you'd left or sent to the castle, basically. Um, you all took up positions, uh, some more strategic or useful than others, uh, and you waited. A young woman, Paige, ended up coming. She works in the kitchen. She tells you some of this castle scuttlebutt. And uh, some ways of, this, uh, of sneaking into the castle were basically discussed. Uh, there was mention of food delivery on the morning of the gall. Uh, she was going to try to sneak a copy of last year's ball invitation to Suave. Uh, and of course, there's also nighttime flying and whatever uh, other cockamamie plans you guys come up with. Uh, but she basically hustled off and left. And so you folks are uh, still in the Tinuan Meadows at your various positions. And that's where we'll pick things up tonight. Uh, so call it, I don't know, 615 or something uh, to solve. What would you like to do? So we're in the we're still in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're still in the restaurant. Did she already leave? She already left. Okay, and we're we're staying at the buttery buns place. We're staying at the buttery buns. Yep, Billy Butterbottom's buttery buns bed and breakfast. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to sending stone that maybe we should head back to buttery buns and discuss our. Uh, options. Polias will agree with whatever you say. <laughs> Sounds good. Which is rare, so take advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can always go for more buns. Well, did you eat at the Tinoan Meadows? Probably. <laughs> and you're going to eat again at the Buttery Buns place? They are very Buttery Buns. Yeah, I think What's if you guys if you guys got a few drinks at the bar, you can you know, subtract uh, Ooh, uh, three what, or, three what's or four their silver. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, Polias, uh, can you get this and uh, everything else that we get? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> do we know what this house specialty drink is? Uh, I don't think you do actually. Ooh, we'll have a round of whatever it is, and Polias will, will get it. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Real question is, do I know what the hound specialty is? Uh, it's extra secret. I feel like at uh, Buttery Buns, it's probably something like butterbeer. 
or butter rum. Or just butter. Or just melted butter. Uh, or scotch. Yeah. Butterscotch sounds good. Which is kind of like butter beer, right? Isn't butter beer butterscotch flavored something? It's butter and yeast. Is it butter and yeast? No, no, no. Special drink. Oh. <laughs> At, at, uh, at the bed and breakfast. <laughs> it's, just, it's just butter. <laughs> Clarified butter. Um, That's good to have clarity with some <laughs> matters of butter. Uh, uh, hold on oh. one second. Any other discussion <laughs> while I look this up? Hey, uh, hey, Fenric. Yeah. I think we're we're running out of good ideas here, right? So uh, that naturally means doing, we have, we're not too intolerant. What? That, maybe that's not what I was gonna say. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. No. Um, I feel like I feel like we got a lot of good ideas. You could still do tolerant once we get in. Okay. I guess the, the thing is, so I, I, I like the idea of someone like going into like the the ball in disguise there and like us doing up that sort of like fake invitation to get in. Um, and I know we talked about like, you know, we might be able to make it look like non magical. Uh, so that's good. But I was wondering so once we're in the ball, is that more of a recon thing or it, would that? person like try to break away from the ball and try to find Falrith. Ooh, so I think we have to do everything once we're in. I don't know if we're gonna have another chance. Do we all need to be in then? I feel like yeah, and I feel like it should be separate parties. Like I feel like we had but that that's why I'm sort of like questioning how we get every how we get everyone in if everyone gets in the same way or if we sort of like divide and conquer a bit or, or get a, in different ways and meet up or, or kind of how we do this and then like who who brings the compass so I got my fancy clothes being made so I, I'm, I can definitely get into the party but I'm sure the invitation is kind of like a plus one type of thing where or I don't know if you are really that rich and you get an invite wouldn't you have an entourage of servants and people coming with you I don't know, to a ball? I mean, we could find out what the protocol is. I can make us a fake invite, but it cost me two spells. No, well, no, no, you would only need to make one. one. It cost me one spell. No, 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 it would cost you two. Well, I can conjure, conjure anything. conjure anything. I can conjure anything right now. You would need to put a spell on it to make it not have a magical aura. And it would last for an hour, so who cares after that, right? I, I was so close to just conjuring a huge sombrero, but then I realized it's a a magic hating town and uh, that would have just got us in a lot of trouble damn it's pretty crowded people probably would have noticed the addition of a large sombrero <laughs> a glowing sombrero that's true yeah go to the gift shop across the street uh i did look up the drink by the way it's the castle cordial it actually costs a whole gold so Ooh. polias is going to be out some Thank you, uh, Polias. But it is a it is a honey liqueur, uh, and it is delicious. Um, and you all feel like, assuming you all drink it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you all uh, feel like like really confident. Um, uh, that's what we need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you do. You feel really confident. Does it boost any stat for like an hour? Uh, you're not. You're not quite sure. You just. You're just filled with this sense of confidence. I feel like it should boost your charisma. It, I don't know. It. Uh, it. You know. You feel like you could convince someone of something or something. I don't know. It's just. A, it's a weird feeling. Confidence. One goal. <clears throat> All right. Well, then Lily is going to figure out how long it lasts. All right. All right, she is. So she's, she's locked. gonna try to time it. She's locked into that feeling. Wouldn't the servers know? Well, it could vary from person to person, depending on how much they drank, how fast they drank it. Some of Lily's results won't necessarily apply to us. 
No, but she'll know how it applies to her. If she, you know, is if it's a cordial, it's probably a, in a small little like snifter or something like that. Correct, exactly. Little yep. cordial glass. Oh, so before we attempt anything in the castle, we go get a bucket of this stuff, just pass it around. Well, uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's like liquid luck. Felix Felicitas potion. <laughs> Liquid luck. All right, one gold, and that's from the. That Polaris, that was very nice of you. Well, yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, and if you, yeah, if you had any drinks earlier than that, just uh, subtract four silver too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I had any. Uh, I don't think I had a drink, but I did have Some sort pretzels. Of appetizer. I had some kind of appetizer. Call it three silver then. Okay. Each or just for a little? Um, no, just the appetizer that I got for me and um, what just, was her name again? Uh, Paige. P A I G. Paige. Paige. Uh, I'm going to start a tab. All right. So, all right. so okay. So, who's. Do we all want to try and get into the uh, the fancy party? Or do some people want to try and like go through the servants' quarters, like hide under the dinner cart? All I know is that if Lily was here, she could use dimensional door, and she would just need to see what the place looked like, and then she'd be able to travel the 500 feet into and out of the building. So if she knew that like, there was like a darkened corner or behind a wardrobe or something. She'd be able to bring someone else with her too. Can we do that? Well, Lily's not, or uh, not Lily, uh, Agnes is not here. I was gonna say, I thought I was having a stroke. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I, I we, meant- We can't do that. Agnes can do it, Lily cannot. Lily does not have the same kind of spells. <laughs> oh, so who, who else has fancy duds? Um, Lily has nicer clothes because she is, uh, like, a noble, right? She does. But she doesn't necessarily, but she doesn't necessarily have them with her. They yeah, I think they're, and if she did, they're probably starting to, you know, they're not quite ball ready after all your adventures. Right, but she would have an eye for oh, absolutely. the right kind of clothing. So if she went out and bought some she probably could make sure that it was appropriate for a ball. Absolutely. Okay. All right, you're my date to the ball. Okay, well then, I Fen guess... Fenric, you're, my, you're, you're, the, um, you're the bodyguard. And what am I supposed to do, says Finistel. Oh, yeah, Finistel! Finistel! That's right, yeah, Finistel. I'm sitting right well, across from Polaris. Is it because Finistel is so much... <laughs> like the table of NPCs. <laughs> What was that, Sean? It's like the table of NPCs we forgot about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, what was the question about height? Well, you know, Lily is, is closer in height to uh, Twizzard, I'm sure, because she's still... Well, yeah. but e even though she's young, she's probably her full size. What, we're making height jokes now? No, I mean, I'm just Finistel's trying to an elf, so yeah. Finistel and Plyas are definitely more similar. <laughs> Although the hat of disguise can allow you to change your height uh, a foot either direction. Mm. But if someone went to touch you, they would figure out that the height was not right. That is true. Not touching. Not touching. <laughs> um, are you guys doing all this by ascending stone, or are you just sort of walking and talking? What are we doing? Well, I, I, were we heading back to Buttery Billy's Buttery Buns? Buttery Buns, okay. Buttery Buns, bed yeah. breakfast. Yep. Yep, sounds good. Probably a good place to go. All right, so... I mean, while we're walking, we could certainly be having this conversation with Sending Stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's still festivities, uh, still people selling things in the street. It's not quite dark yet, so the fireworks people aren't out yet, but... Uh, this is... is the, the day hasn't changed, right? This is still the same day. It's yeah. still de Sol. Uh The food gets delivered tomorrow, de Gaulle, for the ball on de Tall. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. okay. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. 
Do you, uh, do we think my fancy clothes are ready? No, they're going to be ready on the gall. <laughs> you, you just you just ordered them today. You ordered them earlier today. I was hoping they'd be ready later. I mean, today. you could go check, but. No, that's well, I mean, maybe Lily should get something a little bit nicer for the ball. Yeah, you could you could go back to Spirin's spool and see if it's still open. Yeah, why not? I mean, is it out of the way? Is it on the way? Oh, it's is on it... the way. Okay, yeah. Then as we pass, I'll take a look and I'll ask for... Um, uh, I probably... I mean, the weather's getting a little cooler. There, but there I'm is wondering a, if I need a cloak there is a or just... Yeah, there is a closed sign in the window, but if you like put your head up to the glass, you can see some sort of dim light in the background. So someone's in uh, there, I'll... but it's not officially open. Is there a doorbell or a bell or? There is. All right, I think I'm gonna ring it. All right. And what was your name, Sir Twizzard? Did I give a fake name? I don't know. After a while, the door cracks open a little and... Uh, yes? Oh, oh, I see you've come back, perhaps. He sort of looks at the whole group. Perhaps some uh, of you uh, also need the fancy clothes? Um, actually, yes. Uh, the gentleman behind me who uh, purchased some clothes from you today has asked me to be his date, and so I'm going to need something. And if, if it could maybe be complimentary... Uh, that would be wonderful. I can uh, either come in right now and you could take my size, or uh, I can come back first thing tomorrow morning, whichever's easiest for you. Uh, no, no, come in. We uh, we will do these measurements tonight. I, I have an assistant. I may not be able to get everything done, but uh, probably by the morning of the tall, I could have. I'm I'm busy with the uh, the fine set of clothes uh, for your friend, uh, but I can see what I could do. Does he sort of looks at Pelias and Finneric and Finistel. I, I'm all right. Finistel. Uh, guys, am I all right? What's that? Guys, am I all right? I think so. I think I think um, right. Actually, um, if he could maybe just get a, a nice tabard that would, that would kind of go along with the outfits that you're making... I think that would probably be well enough. Uh, I see you have the, uh, the good taste. All right, all right. Uh, I'd see what I can do. It. Let's get some measurements. Get some measurements. Come in, come in. You guys sort of go in. <laughs> and uh, measurements are taken. Uh, do we need to fancy up Elias too? No, Elias will have his hat. Oh, all right, he all right. can wear whatever he wants. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, between uh, between mending and press the digitation. Uh, uh, I almost feel like Pelias should go in, and I will sending stone this to everyone. Pelias, while you're, I think while you're being measured, be, you're like. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pelias, you should maybe try to get in as maybe like one of the people delivering food tomorrow, wearing a hat to make you disguised as a worker. And then once you're in there, trying to maybe like find a hiding spot and then coming out a little bit later, disguised as a guest. Mm. Clive probably thinks that's a great idea. Well, I just think it's a great idea. And he's like, Lily, why don't I listen to you more? You're so much wiser than your age would predict. Um, if I had a daughter, I'd want her to be just like you. So how, how, did you, how are you describing the, the outfit that Fenric wants? Or, I, don't know, I don't know if I know what a tabard is, to be perfectly honest. No, a tabard is really just kind of like... It's like a white beater, right? Well, no, it's kind of like a, like a fancy one. It's Real like fancy. a long, it's a tunic that has usually like a crest or, you know, like a family emblem or something on it. Gotcha. So I said a fancy white beater. A tunic. That's a white beater. And it's usually cinched with a belt. Finner's so it can go over 
any of your other nicer monk's clothing. Yeah, Fenric, what are you wearing right now? I'm wearing my common clothes. Okay. Because uh, I think I was hiding that I was a monk. Got it. Okay. So yeah, he he's sort of like, what uh, what color are you thinking? Oh, I don't know, like a, like a really strong like cobalt blue. All right, all right. What color is she? Oh, I don't know. What's that? What color is um, Mr. Twizzard uh, going to have? Oh, I have that all written down, what he's planning. Um, what was discussed openly was a blue silk coat. Um, uh, with a, uh, uh, well, so this is a little, this is what the, I'll just tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be a blue silk coat over a rich black linen uh, shirt with a deep V to show off your chest. Uh, fine dark black leather boots um, that the gold MC Hammer pants tuck into. Um, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, it's going to be really good. So then Lily should probably also be wearing blue to match Mr. Toizard and the cobalt blue of the um, the monk's tabard. That sounds good. And is Lily looking for like a dress or? Probably a dress, probably like one that she can, um, almost like it just, it's almost like a robe that has maybe some enclosures in the top. So she can wear something a little bit like something that she might already have. So it's really just a top piece. Okay. That she can wear on uh, with what she already has. So what are our disguises? Are, are we going as like we're not going as servants? We're going as we're going to be going as guests. We're because, royalty from another place or nobles. Are we nobles? Well, we're gonna have to see what the uh, invitation says. Are and, we all nobles? And come up with a story. It can be whatever. I mean, I've got my ring, my signet ring. What does that do besides make your finger visible? No, 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 no. That's uh, Agnes. <laughs> that's a different ring. No, it's 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 like the family crest, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. You you would uh, uh, Lily would have the Galdinger family crest ring. Oh, so you're the you're the important one here. But you could also be important. I mean, you could be. I was gonna make up some land. You could be from Torin. I'm sure people would. He is from Torin. <laughs> I know, but that would make sense. Like, how many people from Torin do you think would be there that they would not, that they would be like, no, you're not one of the nobles or royals from Torin. Mm. Torin noble. You Maybe me we a, should find out. Give me a retroactive perception check, Twizzard. Oh, you got it, boss. That's just a regular perception check, right? Yeah. No, you have to do perception there. Oh, thank you. Oh, a nice plus zero. Oh, that look it looks good. Looking good. That would be a two plus zero. I mean, you don't remember seeing any other doors from Torin, but you're not really <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pretty sure I would have saw him. We could certainly ask around. Nothing if, gets past me. If there's anyone from Torin. <laughs> anyone from Torin here tonight? Yeah. That's how we know. All right, um, Fenric. Yeah. But what's your plan? How, how, how comfortable are you feeling doing noble or uh, non-noble? Well, could he be a bodyguard? Well, what do you want to do? Well, I guess between the, between those options, uh, I prefer being a, a bodyguard. I'm just wondering if we're if all of us are going to go as part of this party or if other people are going separately, because if, I guess the question is, what if Fall Earth isn't at the ball? Who would miss this ball? Well, so we could find out because we could make real frequent checks with the compass. And if it, you know, we could just try and zero in on wherever it's pointing. Mm -hmm. And if we're there and it's, you know, five minutes later and, it's not pointing anywhere within the castle that we could say, let's blow this popsicle stand. Yeah. Oh, I'm, d I'm just sort of guessing, it, it's like, if we're all part of guests at this ball, are, are we going to be able to sneak away and explore the castle? Or are we just going to be within the balls, the ball space? 
Well, that might be a good reason for you to have a tabard that you can just kind of take off and like wear as a sash. So you no longer look like a guest, but maybe like a servant. Ooh, so and you're wearing a couple Lily, disguises at once. Lily's um, dress is really just an outer kind of long cloak enclosure thing that, you know, she can take off and have just whatever her under uh, arrangement might be. Not that it's like underwear, but just the under lower, the underdress, the other part. Okay. Cool. So, so Sean, I could send you a picture of what yeah. I'm talking about. I love it. So then are we, um, do, what else do we need to do other than wait for clothes? Uh, we also need to wait for the invitation. Mr. Twizzard needs to get that invitation pretty well in his mind so he can make a conjured I just, of I just have to conjure it and then I have to cast my spell on it so it's not glowing. And my, I can only conjure something that lasts for an hour. So it has to be an hour before we go in. And I can conjure that whenever. If anyone wants to uh, see that. Unfortunately, if I pull it out, it'll be glowing. So I might not want to do that in Billy's buttery bun factory. Mm. I'm going to get my buns buttered. Hang on. Well, then, do we, um... I guess what I'm getting at is, is, is do we, do we uh, pass any time away? I think it might be helpful to maybe practice some and maybe study up on the nobles that we are going to be portraying. Like, I might want to talk to my dad. We should probably talk to Sir Baldinger and find out how we're going to, what we'll need to do, what we should say, who we should, you know, maybe become chummy with, rub elbows with. Let's wing it. I'm the king of Torah. It's <laughs> nice to be in this city. Thanks for inviting us. All right, Gilbert Pyle. <laughs> I'm the king of Torah. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> This is gonna fail. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love Tor and I love your castle. Thanks for having us. That's better. That's okay. better. Nailed it. Third try, nailed it. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Third time's a Tor Noble. Sounds Ooh. good. Uh, what time is it? In the game uh, It's probably only about what, maybe 6 30, 7? Yeah, yeah. I mean, by the time the measurements are done and you sort of describe the outfits, uh, if you wanted to ask any other questions of uh, Spurn before you leave, you could. Or we could just fast forward. I am fine doing either. Uh, in theory, Chris will be here in not until another 20 minutes, so. Gotcha. Well, I do feel like, uh, I, I feel like the idea of talking to Sir Gallagher is a good idea. Can I listen to it? Well, I mean, we're all together on the Sending Stone with him, so... <laughs> we should, should, should we leave the clothing place? Because we'll, we'll yes. all just be yeah. standing around not doing anything. Yeah, no, no, no. We'll, we'll say that after the measurements and the descriptions. Because uh, right. he's got to get to work and get his assistant to work, so... Yes. All right. All right, commence... Commence Sending Stone hijinks. Yes. All right. Hello, Miss Goldinger. Is your fridge right? Ring. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Daddy. Uh, hello, Lily. How are you? Yeah. Daddy. Did you put Albert in a can? How are things going? Um. So we are now in the um yard. Uh, what's this place called? Yards. Yards. It's the capital of Yars. Augsburg in Swabia. Yes. Uh, we're in Yars in uh, Osberg in Swabia, and oh. we are going to try to infiltrate the castle. Yay! Ho oh, ho! Now, wait a minute. Infiltrate the castle? That, um... Well, there's a big ball that's going to happen in a couple of days. We have some nice outfits being made, and uh, a possible invitation on the way. But the invitation might be outdated. Hmm. So, um, if we can 
maybe make sure that the invitation is up to this year's standard. Um, we're hoping to get in as guests and crash the party. Well, I mean, I have to admit, the getting a uh, getting an audience with the Swabian nobility would be quite the benefit to the Galdinger family. I'm quite proud of you. They, so, uh, should I go in as a Galdinger, or should I oh, be? Absolutely, I think if you could um, spread some good favor, and of course, uh, having you as our representative makes a lot of sense. And Swabi, I hear they're quite. Uh, the ladies uh, run the show there, shall we say? Um, yes. So I would, uh, I would welcome any insight you have to perhaps trading. Uh, we could be their conduit to in areas north of Wesleyville. We could take advantage of. I have some contacts here in the in the city. Hmm, maybe I know some opal. I know a man who deals in opals, um, and. Um, and uh, pearls. Um, oh yeah, Dad. I think I've met them before. Are they the um, the kind of bluish guys? Yes, yes. The tritons. Like the water people. Yes, the, the the tritons. Yes, you've probably seen them at an event here or there. Hmm. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this wonderful horse that uh, that your little sister drew. It's wonderful. Really. Oh, it's very that's nice. so nice. <laughs> yeah, that one. The one doesn't he always carry like a triton around? Indeed, he does. Indeed, yes. Does he uh, use it like a, as a fork too? He's a I mean, good he man, it but he's everywhere. He's a good man, but he's gone a lot of the time. Uh, but um, yeah, I can get in so, contact with um, him. anyway, yes. By all means, uh, please don't ruin uh, any trade uh, potential uh, deals. You're not, you're not up to something, are you? No, no, we just, we want to get into the party, and we don't really have a legitimate means of doing so, so we're going to go in the roundabout means, which right. is on par for the Ateum. I think that sounds grand. I wish you all the luck, and, uh... Um, why don't you, um, keep your, uh, line open so that if we do get into the party, I can, uh... I can sending stone you, and maybe you like if I describe someone to you that maybe you might know who they are, and I can pretend like I actually know them. <laughs> mm. uh, when is this uh, party? Um, it is two days. In two days, so de de gall. De tall. Yes. Um, I de tall is the ball. De tall is the ball, of course. Um, I'm afraid I might not be that much help, but I'll be available if you need me. Okay. All right. So, um, we'll certainly let you know if we get in. When in doubt, uh, speak to the woman of the party first. Yes, I do know that. Matriarchal society. Good luck. I, um, I'm glad to hear you're all right, dear. Thanks, Daddy. Oh, I, if you see if you see Agnes, I mean, we can always send in Stoner. But if you happen to see her, I think she's back in Wesleyville. Yes, I'll be uh, I'll be heading up. Was he? He was still in Windbell, right? I think so. Yeah, he's at the. Yeah. He was getting all the stuff together. I'll like he, uh, I'll be heading up to Wesleyville soon, actually. So I'll, I'll keep an eye out for her. Okay, tell her I said hi. All right. All right. Are you all hi, Mr. Galdinger? Um, yes, to his it. <laughs> Good idea. That was Mr. Twizzard. Okay. <laughs> In case you didn't know. All right. All oh, right. If this conversation ended, I yeah, want. Yeah, conversation's wanna, over. I want to look at you and whisper, like, "You sure you want your name associated with this? We might actually end up burning this castle down." I know. Well, that's that's the problem. It it could happen. There's a legitimate chance that could happen. And it might not be our fault. Well, it might be our fault. Is there a, is there a family? Uh, well, I was going to say we could just make up a family, but the same background, the same exact story as the Goldingers. That way it's familiar to you. And so if nothing happens, then it sounds like the Goldingers, and people would be like, Goldingers? Dollgingers? 
Which one was it? Mm -hmm. Alright. But I am technically, I'm technically, um, Sally Copperhead. The Copperheads? Yeah, instead of the gold dingers, I'm a Copperhead. <laughs> Should we go with that? Are you redheaded? Yeah, I'm a ginger. Oh, okay. That, that would fit. The Copperheads. Agnes is Auburn, but I think she's a ginger. Oh, Mr. Twizzard has a redhead. Yes, Mr. Twizzard is also a redhead. Okay. Not really copper. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I could not find Auburn for Agnes. Auburn is like a, a reddish brown. So she has orange hair as a Lego <laughs> figurine. <laughs> we do what we can. Yeah. Only so many heads to choose from. All right, getting a All right. good rest. Getting a long rest. All right. Yeah, I guess switch up one of my spells. All right, so you guys retire to Billy Bottom's buttery buns bed and, bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, Are there any like pre bed treats? Ooh, bed buns. Uh, I don't bed know. Bed buns. Had... Have you had his? Have we had one? Have you had his drink? No, we haven't had his drink. So yeah. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy Butterbottom's buttery buttermilk. Um, buttermilk. That sounds good. <laughs> hmm. Is this like alcoholic buttermilk or just butter oh, buttermilk? It is. It is. It is alcoholic buttermilk. Okay. Well, a nice glass of alcoholic buttermilk before bed. That could. That could settle or upset the tummy. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you decided to try my buttery buttermilk. I was wondering if you would. It's delicious. Oh, great. I guess, uh, does it, is it served, what, what temperature is it served at? Oh, well, oh. normally I serve it warmed up, but you can have it whatever you want if you want. Uh, you know, I could have it room well, temperature. Warm sounds great to me. How many did we want? Oh, I'll take one. Uh, Lily is still taking uh, account of how she feels. Does she still feel? You still feel confident. confident. Still feel confident. This is like an hour later. Yeah. All right, an hour of confidence. Cool. Yeah. At least. So I don't want the buttermilk to um, change the the feeling. So <laughs> that's what I'm. I'm I think you're confident you can handle it. Yeah, well, I think that I am experimenting, and I want to make sure that I don't ruin the experiment. Gotcha. Clients will have one, probably. They're, they're three silver each. Cool. Uh, can, can we put it on the tap? Oh, absolutely. Ooh, yeah. Great. Yeah, we'll do that. And um, bring one for Lily, too. Uh, but hers can be cold. Oh, uh, room temperature okay? Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, there won't be any bacteria or anything. It's the alcoholic content keeps it safe. Gotcha. Good to know. I'm not gonna drink it. <laughs> you just spent okay. three silver on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pour it into like a little flask or something. If I have any lying around, which I probably don't. Alright, do you guys drink yours? Yes. <laughs> um, after you drink it, you uh you're uh you like you're you're <laughs> so you're, you're like drinking it downstairs probably still, right? Um and you're um your grip is like you. You notice like it's, it's like it's like your your palms are sweating, and they're like it's like a little. What thing is? It's like a little greasy. Yeah, and it's like you kind of need to hold things a little more careful now. Oh yeah, man, you've you got butterfingers. Butterfingers. That's <laughs> hilarious. Yo, Fenric, my arm wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> arm wrestle. 
<laughs> Who wins? Do we roll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, uh, roll athletics. Oh boy, what's my? Oh, I have a plus one. Prepare to be dominated. Uh oh. Thirteen. Eighteen. Oh, oh, bananasaurus, I got wrecked. All right. Yeah, even, even, uh, it's a, it's a bit of a slippery mess, but, uh, <laughs> Fenric emerges victorious. That was great. luck next time. Oh. oh. Hey, Lily, you want to arm wrestle? Um, how about a thumb wrestle? Yeah. All right, sleight of hand for that. Sleight of hand. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, 13. Nope. Look through here. Slide of hand. My page is reloading. <laughs> Can roll the old fashioned way. Yeah, that means I have to go one more than I. Alright, now I got it right here. Slide of hand. Here it comes. Uh, seven. Uh-uh. Phoenix on fire. Club fingers. Alright, Plyus is going to challenge you to arm wrestle. Um, he also. Hey, let's do it. I don't know what his strength plus is, though. He rolled a 16. Uh, I rolled a 4. All right, I think Plyus, <laughs> you're, 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 yeah, he looks Your quite, hands are stronger. He looks oh, quite tired. Oh, yeah, your emerges. Yeah. Plyus. All right, who wants to butter wrestle? I rub my hands all over my upper torso. <laughs> oh, my, he's really getting into it. <laughs> That's Does the skin kind of glisten as if it's been greased up? Oh yeah, it's it's like uh, it's like I a just grease, myself. it's like a grease Scotsman. Yeah. Hard to look at. And what if you like lick your fingers? Does it taste buttery? Oh yeah, yeah, no, it tastes delicious. This is great. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're getting into it so much. I do love butter. <laughs> <laughs> Some might call you Paula Deen. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but she sounds delightful. She loves butter, she too. Loves butter too. There's like at least two sticks of butter in everything she makes. Amazing. All right. Uh, anything else before you go to bed? I don't think so. Uh, that, the Butterfingers only lasts 30 minutes. It's a very short period of time. Oh, well, that's Probably good. I don't want to get my bed linens on. Yeah. Yeah. Grease up your butter bed. Slip out of bed. <laughs> yeah, out of the Slowly slide out. Yeah. Slide down the stairs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't go through your clothes, so your shoes should be fine, right? Yeah. Just your skin. All right. Alright, uh, so what's the plan with um, the food delivery day? Is, do we have any, um, or, or are we going to sleep? The food delivery is tomorrow morning. Yeah, you're going right. to sleep. Do we need to do anything? Well, let's let's right. say you guys, you guys wake up in the morning and meet downstairs. Like, do we want to have um, someone wake us up at a certain time to make sure we don't miss anything? Was there anything we needed to wake up for? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, because it seems like everything that we're doing is going to be. Um, I feel like at maybe the party. maybe going in with the food and kind of getting the lay of the land might be helpful. But I don't know how we could fit in with the. Uh, essentially, what would have to happen is I think Plyus would need to. Or at least someone would need to wear Polias's hat of disguise, watch somebody who was one of the servants, and then we'd have to kind of kidnap that person temporarily and take yeah. their place. Yeah. Oh boy, for a day. But we might be able to not kidnap them, but maybe just be like, hey, listen, we'll give you 10 gold to, uh, you know, 
get out of town for a couple hours. I don't know. I think kidnapping would be a lot, a lot easier and, and cheaper cheaper. for us. Yeah. And cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I just could sneak in and then lay low for a day. Yeah, you can just sleep in there. Want to do that? Yeah. Are, are yeah, we Polaris, I mean, what else is Polaris going to do? Yeah, we're, we're downstairs, downstairs, right? Uh, eating Billy's buttery batter. Yeah, so you, you get up the next morning, you come downstairs, uh, and the first thing you notice is Suave Baggins is there waiting for you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, hey guys! Good morning! What's up, Suave? Oh, uh, nothing much. Um, is it safe to talk here? You sort of look around. There's not that many other. There's like a couple other people in the common room. And, and after uh, Billy comes by and takes your order, uh, you feel fairly confident that you can communicate. Um, I'm supposed to give you guys this. And he like slips this like envelope toward uh, probably toward Lily. Um, and Lily accepts it under the table. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay, that's it. Oh, it's Bobby. Oh, yeah. Question. Um, do you know where um, the servants are picking up the food? Or how they're getting the food into the castle? Oh, yeah. Uh, Paige mentioned you might be interested in that. Uh, so, uh, there's like a big shopping trip going on probably like right now. Um... From the market, like from the butcher, from the fruit seller, from the all the people who sell food, baker, you know, and uh, then they're gonna load it all up and bring it all in a big wagon into the castle. So, do you think there's any way of getting into the castle using that as a as the means? Like, should we just try to hide? In the, I mean, yeah, you, I'm could, not sure. you could try. Paige, yeah. will, Paige will be on the inside to help unload it, but there'll be other people around. Yeah. Is there stuff that gets unloaded to the basement, like the wine cellar? You know, they're probably gonna get a couple casks of wine. I bet the lies could hide down there, <laughs> or in a cask of wine. That's possible. Should we seal them up in a cask of wine? <laughs> uh, the wine. Give them like a little straw. <laughs> the wine is usually the heaviest, so they'll probably buy that last. Ooh. Let's see what Elias thinks. Star. Elias. This would be a great Elias time. thinks it's a great idea. This would be a great it's time so for him to appear. Yeah, sorry, he should be here soon, but we can we can also uh, jump back to this moment if we need to later. You guys could go pick up your clothes or something. Okay. Cool. Yeah, especially if Wise is coming in soon. Yeah, I think we should right. He said seven thirty his time, so. Alright. In that case, I think our clothes are ready. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, do you smell some? Buttery buns. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Oh, is he cooking buttery buns? Buttery buns. <laughs> You're turning. Uh, rock Broccoli. Uh, 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 what now? Did you guys meet Rock Broccoli? Yeah. Yeah, with the green hair. Yeah, smell what the rock is cooking. Is that the rock you mean? No, <laughs> just kidding. I know the rock you mean. Uh, you smell the rock? <laughs> ooh. Just cooking. Yeah, um, Twizzard's, Twizzard's outfit will be ready today. Uh, Lily's and Fenrix may take until tomorrow, he said. So. Nice. Even though ours is probably not as uh, as many pieces... Yeah, no, that's real fair. nice. But so. I think he started, you know, he's going to work on the orders in the order they came in. And there might be uh -huh. others that are also getting... Right. Uh, although that's why they call them orders. 
They're out. ordered. Is that, why, is that why they're calling over? I guess they are. Wait, really? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think I've ever thought makes about sense. that. Yeah. It does make sense. Blew our minds. Um, you just blew all our minds. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, okay. All right, so the, the big plan goes in place tomorrow. Um, the, the ball is tomorrow. If you wanted to do things today, you could. Uh, do, we're good in terms of uh, the invitation, right? I'm just going to fudge something and then just make it. doesn't matter the content, that's not right. Well, you've got, you now have the one from last year. That, that's what he was delivering to you. Okay. So. Presumably you'll look at that. All right. And I'll say, welcome, Goofus and Gallant, and your fearless bodyguard, Dingus. Come on in. <laughs> cool. And if for some reason that doesn't work, we flee and then, like, take our familiars and break back in, right? That's plan B. <laughs> yeah. Always good, like, oh, we're, we're the wrong <laughs> always good to have a plan B. Um, if you do look at the invitation, um, you will notice that it is for uh, the Brogans. The Brogans. Brogans. The shoes. It's one of the shoes. Mm. Do you guys know the Brogans? Does that us? We're the Brogans now. <laughs> what do the Brogans sound like? Well, the problem is, if the Brogans were invited in the past, that means that these people know what the Brogans look like. So maybe we can change the name slightly. Um, how is Brogan spelled? B R O G I N. G I N. Okay. Yep. Me the Hogans. The Hogans. Well, we have to be able to make certain letters into other letters very easily. Hogans, you just scratch off the B's. The yeah. top, bottom of the B, and that's name. My, my first name is Hulk. Your first name is Paul. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and who's Pima Hogan? I don't know. Barbara. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. <laughs> Alright. We have an official decree, uh, an invitation for uh, Hulk Hogan, Paul Hogan, and Barbara Hogan. G give me an investigation check when you're looking at this. Uh... <laughs> Lil hey, Lil Lily can, yeah, whoever's looking at the invitation. Oh, yeah, 19. Yeah, you you do note that it was uh, uh, for the Brogans, Emily and Guest. Guests? No, Guest singular. Uh oh. Em Emily and wow. Guest, basically. And it's called the Ancelong Ball. No, oh, well, this year is probably not the same name. So we should no, find the, out what the. No, you 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 would have gathered that this this. This week-long sort of meeting yeah. of the royals is, is called Ancelon. All right, so your, your guess is either a very tall movie fellow or a pair of Siamese twins. And then, uh, Fenric, you and I have to be joined at the hip throughout the whole party. We count as one guest. <laughs> we always got tall wrist. <laughs> what? No, oh, oh, now Tall Ruth is a good idea. Tall Ruth is back <laughs> on the table. Was the worst idea? <laughs> tall Ruth is back on the table. <laughs> That's all I had to do was think of an even worse idea. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Sean, I just sent you an example of uh, an overdress. It's the blue part. Oh, very cool. Wait, how did you send me that? Uh, to your email. Oh, got it. Cool. I don't have text. Actually, I technically now do. 
Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, very cool. All right, so you guys are going to go pick up the outfit for Twizzard? Yes. All right. Yeah. And we have to think about how we get a third person in when the invitation's for two. We'll just, uh, everyone else can go in. Uh, well. How many conjurations can you? We technically do Talrith. Just not Talrith, just. <laughs> I feel like that's a horrible idea. <laughs> How about Bulk Hogan? Oh. Or we're just a real big guy. Worth noting, Lily, uh, when you woke up this morning, the feeling of confidence was gone. When I had it, well, like, you, up you, to the point when I was falling asleep? Correct. So, at least two hours? Yeah, I mean, you drank it... I drank around 6.30, six, like so at least, six? yeah, so at least four hours, probably. You probably didn't go to bed until, I mean, I don't know, when, when did you go to bed? But yeah, it left, basically it's until the next long rest. Okay. Well, I definitely think that we should get that before we go into the castle tomorrow. Maybe we should get it in a flask and, and drink it before we head in. Yeah, that's good. Just so yeah. we have that confidence that most nobles probably already have. Mm, the noble confidence. And that, I bet you none of them are actually confident at all. Inside their tiny, they have tiny to, babies. And they have to use this, this drink, which is interesting because they don't use magic, do they? But yet they have these specialty drinks that make them feel particular ways. Well, that's chemistry. Mm -hmm. It's not magic. Like butter coming out of your hand. It just makes you sweat a lot. Really weird biochemistry. Our scientists will get there, too. <laughs> All right, Mr. Twizzard. Which, you're not really being called Mr. Twizzard right now. Right? I don't know. My you name, don't wear it out. You came up with a name. Yeah, I forgot it. Yeah, what was it? I forgot my own name. I had it here somewhere. I don't know. Do you guys have it in your notes? I'm pretty oh. sure I was just Pelias, right? So, Finric, Sally Copperhead, Pelias, Finistel, and I think you introduced yourself as Pelias to someone. Oh, I and may then, have. And then Pelias introduced himself as Ravenclaw, I think. <laughs> That's right. Reviews Ravenclaw. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm Pelias. I don't know who that. I don't know. Who, I can't remember who you introduced yourself to as that though. It was, was it like the harbor master or something? As soon as we got. Oh uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, are, oh, come on, boy. Are we at the, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, duttery? Yeah, you're at the, uh, the what? The, where, where you get your fancy duds? duds? Yeah, yeah, the duttery. Yeah, spear and spool. Yes. Yeah, sounds good. All right, boy, this is not going to work. You got to go somewhere else. Like, all the time. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, so uh, blue silk overcoat, uh, rich, really, really high thread count, uh, black linen shirt, tight fitting, deep V, um, uh, a nice thick uh, leather belt that goes with the... Uh, uh, or you know, it's it sort of sets off your gold hammer pants, and then and then a nice pair of uh, dark black leather boots that your gold MC pa hammer pants can, can tuck into. Oh yeah, it looks so good. I got it on. I'm looking in the mirror. Did you um? Did you uh want anything uh, on on your head? I, I I think you still have like the like padded down mohawk, right? Like the dirty up. Oh right. Um, what would I put on my head? Uh, well, uh, 
Styles, uh, hat styles, they vary year to year. This is the popular hat styles this year, and he shows you. It's like this, uh, it's not, it's not a bowler hat like Fenric, uh, Fenric's helmet, but it's, um, it's like, it's a, it's a little bit of an angled hat, and it's got a, it's got a feather off one side. I the, definitely need that hat. The hat color and the feather color, they could, uh, play with your outfit, perhaps? I'll take it. Black hat, blue feather? Mmm. Yes, that sounds good. Very or good. blue hat with black feather. That also sounds good. So blue Probably hat. Probably black hat. Black I think hat. black hat, that way he can change the feather and it's a whole new hat. There you go. Whereas yeah. if it's a blue hat, yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna go with as many things. Black hat. Black suit, black right. tie. Black and it's hat. another, it's another than 10 gold to pick up. To pick up her. Joe, is that is that ten gold for the whole thing, or is that just the hat added on? You paid ten gold yesterday, and you're paying another ten gold today. Oh, excellent. So yeah, that the hat. Elias, Elias, pick up this hat. Elias, will you get this for me? What? No, you gotta pick up that. <laughs> yeah, no drinks. He's uh, he's gracious enough to do, but. Uh... <laughs> All right, I have room. My gold is going, but I got sweet new clothes. Yeah, you do. I probably shouldn't wear them, right? What are you planning on doing today? I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, he, you would be giving them in a box. Let's put it that way. All right, I, I'm, I'll just bring them back to Billy's buttery buns and put them upstairs. Yeah, you don't want to tarnish your ball outfit. Or maybe yeah. you do. I mean, you can. You can. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, do you have many? Well, you have prestidigation, so at least you can clean it. I guess so. It doesn't even say dry clean. only says prestidigation. <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely wouldn't say that, though, for the magic. It's true. All right. Yeah, so I'm not going to open the box. As soon as we're near Billy's Buttery Buns, I'm going to put it upstairs. All right. Yeah, you guys can take care of that. Um... Yeah, it's a little hard because if you wanted to, so I guess let's see. So what what is the what is the plan for the food? If you wanted to do that, we, I mean we can. When Flyas gets mean, here, we, we can just say, "Hey, you're inside the," ca or I don't know, you know, assuming that works. But like, what what is? I was a little unclear on the details of the the food delivery infiltration plan. Yeah, I think we are too. I mean, I think we were just thinking we'd somehow. Get him in as a food delivery person, and he'd stay there and wait for us overnight, <laughs> and then meet up with us tomorrow when we got there. So the yeah, I mean the food delivery people are just people who work in the castle and kitchen and run errands and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Paige is not among them, but they, it's a bit, it's it well. It's a good she guess. She did tell us that she was going to be in the kitchen. Yes, it's a good guess that they would know Paige. So him taking Paige's form would probably be detrimental to idea. your. <laughs> but you could try well, it. Better that they see someone they knew than someone they didn't. If they know everyone, they would be like, "Hey, who are you?" Yeah, but do we? We don't even really know enough about Paige to be able to pull that off. Like, if they start asking questions? The head of disguise also does not change the voice. Just, All right. Just to remind can we get him? Can we get him, like, uh, some food to deliver? So he at least has something that he can bring somewhere? Like some bakery stuff? I don't think it would be, like, raw supplies, right? They cook everything for the palace there. Well, maybe some vegetables, then. What about he could disguise himself as maybe like a farmer with a bushel of some kind of uh, produce. And it could be conjured produce, three feet by three feet, right? It glows, though. But you can put the spell on to not make it glow. I can do that. And he only needs an hour to get it in there. Put it in the corner somewhere. Disappears. Nobody remembers that it was even put down there. Does he bring the compass with him? It could. But there is a better chance that he's discovered hiding for a day in the castle. 
Yeah, what does that get us? Can, 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 can we just, like, we had the plan, because the ball's in the evening, we did have the previous plan of, like, uh, a familiar, like, picking up, wasn't it familiar, like an album or some shit, uh, picking up a couple of us and dropping us in? Oh, yeah, we were going to use an owl. Yeah, so Mr. Twizzard has um, the, the polymorph, mm -hmm. and he could polymorph a willing creature as well as an unwilling creature. He can also polymorph himself. That's true. Right, into a giant owl or a giant bat, but the giant owl had a better wisdom check yeah. and intelligence. Yeah, so. Ow, giant owl or eagle is your best bet for that. The less chance I'd cart you off to my nest. And better chance that I actually drop you where you asked me to. Gotcha. <laughs> but how do you change back? If you now have the intelligence of an animal. Uh, it's 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 concentration, I believe. So you can just drop it. Yeah, slap me out of it. Right, but then that means he has to. That Mr. Twizzer has to have. If he does it to himself, then he has to have awareness that he's an owl. Well, he should do it to himself. He's, he's, he has to, he's going in the other way, right? Well, I can, yeah, I can do it to someone else. I can just do it to uh, Elias. And or Finistel. Oh, Finistel. I mean, Finistel can fly herself, but that would probably look way more... Um, Obvious than if she was just a bird, like a five foot tall owl. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a giant one. The giant one could carry someone else with them. Finistel? Yes, Finric. I don't know if we know the full extent of your abilities. Can can you get yourself into the uh, castle? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I have been listening very attentively to all of your plans. Or I guess if you haven't been doing them with any stone, she hasn't. Well, you've been participating. You, uh, you were like nodding and. Uh, yes, 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 I, yes. Of course, of course. I wasn't nodding off. I was nodding in agreement. <laughs> right. Um, so. So I guess we're just trying to figure out if um, if you're able to get yourself into the castle, um, or if we need to uh, turn you into an owl or turn someone else into an owl and pick you up. I also have the ability to cast polymorph. So I am quite confident that I could get myself in the castle. Excellent. I mean, you could polymorph as uh, yourself as like a little bug and just fly in, right? Well, she could airdrop uh, Elias. Right, but she could also be a fly on the wall. Well, but that's a way, an easy way to get Elias in. Now, I don't have that many spells available to me each day, but... Uh, I could also, let's see, what could I do? Yeah, she has... There must be... Uh, let's see. But she, she could also just, just fly. fly. She could also just fly. But it would be nice to disguise yourself as an animal. At least, At least a smart, smart animal. And yeah, that's because any time that sounds cool. But once she's inside, she can also use her... She has a pseudo-dragon as well. Uh, yes, that is correct. She has a familiar as well. So the least obvious of all of the familiars would either be Lily's cat or Mr. Twizzard's chameleon. Yeah. Because the pseudo dragon is definitely an obvious one. Like, how often do you see pseudo dragons? Pseudo dragons are not very common around here. You get the feeling. Yeah, but a cat, on the other hand, very common. I'm wondering if Lily should bring a cat with her. Under your noble arm. Yeah, I mean, like there are celebrities that walk around with their dogs in their handbags, so why not a cat? You can poof your cat in and out, too. You don't need to... I know, but if I'm walking around the castle and there's a cat with me... I don't know. 
Like, like would there be cats, cats in the castle? castle? Maybe, Maybe I should ask someone. Are there cats in the castle? Uh, I have uh, no uh, prior knowledge of cats in the castle, but uh, perhaps one of the traveling nobles uh, brought some with them. I do not know. Certainly within uh, Nyars, there are wild, uh, feral cats and dogs. Some people have them as pets. They're not uncommon, but uh, in the castle, uh, during a ball, uh, I do not know. Yeah. Are there any nobles that are eclectic enough to want to carry around their own pets with them during the ball? Uh, they would have to be uh, eclectic enough and uh, important enough to pull it off. I could only think of uh, uh, Madame Namar may. Uh, she may be able to pull it off, but I, again, I do not. I've never heard of her having an animal like that. She does some odd things, but um, you could. No, that's uh, right. You could. I, I do not know. I, it's outside my expertise. All right. So that's that with the cat. So take, take a chance. chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, we'll swing by later to see the progress with uh, the other outfits. Yes, I am uh, confident of tomorrow morning. Uh, still plenty of time to prep for the ball or make alterations if I need to. Uh, do you happen to know of a, um, a salon or a barbershop where we might be able to get um maybe just a, a quick trim or an updo uh yes yes of course there's a there's a salon um there's a salon it has a uh, it has a uh, wooden rose sign outside it uh, it's very popular among the nobles all right so Lily might need to get her hair cut, or at least not get her hair cut, but put in a in an appropriate do. One that will make her look like a real noble. Indeed. What tea did you have? Um, maybe I should ask. Oh, do you happen to know if Emily Rogan will be attending the ball this year? Ah, I expect so. Yes, yes. You know her? No. Um, we're of some acquaintance, but she probably would not remember me. Ah, well, no, I, I suspect she will be there with her husband. Uh... All right, well, I will look out for them. Excellent, excellent. Do uh, do make sure to perhaps uh, mention my name if anyone compliments you on the dress. Oh, of course, of course. In your name again, sir. Oh, Spearin. What was it? Spearin. Single name. <laughs> Very trendy. Alright, so I... I... Do the sending stone. So, uh, so do, do we know the Brogans were coming? Now we know that they're coming. All right. So now we have to be the Hogans. I mean, when you conjure something, you can, you can make it look right. Lame. But do we need to, or we just need we just need the invitation so that we can conjure a legit looking invitation and just change the name on it? I honestly thought that's what your plan was, so... Oh, I thought that we were... I thought we were making a counterfeit. Um, that's what I thought we were doing, too. I thought we were making a legitimate counterfeit one. Because we were going to bite three people. Because, well, oh, but we can do um, guest and bodyguard. I mean, why can't we do that? Let's do that. We'll see if it works. Right, because you're saying the invitation would only get two of you in. Mm-hmm. Right, well, could it be 
Um, the woman's name. Beverly Hogan. Beverly Hogan. Hulk Hogan. We don't even have to do Hogan anymore. <laughs> and then Paul Hogan, our bodyguard. Oh my god. It could be. It could be. Um. Why is your bodyguard like one of the family? <laughs> I mean, we could technically do Goldinger. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess I to, to, to Tim's earlier point, do you want the Goldinger name associated with whatever's going to go down? Right. We're, we're not there to attend a party. We're there to right. kill one of the people that are at the party. All right. So then, I mean, but then we could do, then we could do Sally Copperhead um, and guests. I thought, or, I thought we're the Hogan's now. We don't have to be the Hogan's because we don't have to make it look like Rogan changed to Hogan. I mean, you you could you could do both. You could, well. you could have a you could have a modified last year's invitation and then a conjured this year's invitation. All right, you can be Sarah Sally Copperfield. I still want to be Paul Hogan. All right. Oh my God. Then you conjure up um, an invitation for me. And it could be me and my bodyguard. Mm -hmm. And get my one guest. But then why would you be invited? Because you're a guy. Do you want my guys to stop? Mm, not in this matriarchal society. Alright, uh, Benrick, do you, do, you need, do you need a name on this invitation? Or are you just bodyguard? We should give you a fake name anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll take a fake name, but probably, I don't know, what's the etiquette on an uh, invitation? You'd probably just be a plus bodyguard. Well, we would still, we, if we spoke to you around other people in earshot, we still might want a fake name. Can we uh, What's his face remember our names? Walrath? Hey! 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 So, Polaris, um, you are going to be hiding in a barrel for wine. Sweet. That's going to be put down into the basement of the castle. You're going to stick there overnight. And before they tap it, the next day, you're going to get out of it, put on your hat, and disguise yourself like a guest. You old Trojan wine horse. I gotcha. The sweat. <laughs> oh, you're also... Oh, you're going to sweat. You're also, oh, he's drinking wine. You're also, also for lunch. Yeah, you're also out of five gold. Make sure to mark that down on your player sheet. That's <laughs> <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> Why am I out of five gold? What did I do? You, uh, you bought a round of drinks for everyone. <laughs> they were good. You, you really enjoyed it. I'm glad you liked them. Was, was that Butterfingers or was that Felix? No, that was that was the um, that was the Castle Cordial. Yeah, Castle we need Cordial. to do that again. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, don't worry. Finrick bought you a buttermilk. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but fair trade. Also, I did buy the buttermilk, but uh, the tap's going on our it's going on our room tap. <laughs> Where do you go? Do you leave? Do you not like that? Yeah. He doesn't want to go in a barrel. Did you say five gold? Yeah. Damn, those are good drinks. They were good drinks, and I, I think we're going to need to do them again before we go in. Yeah, you have really good taste in buying drinks. We're going to have a free game. Five drinks for giants. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, so let's, so let's do the, uh, let's do the hide in the barrel, uh, so you would have talked to Suave, and he would have mentioned that Kalat's wine. I don't know if he's actually doing that. Oh, okay. I was just making him sound as though he had to do something super ridiculous but without him saying he would do it. I still think it's a good idea. Because what's our next plan? He gets dropped by an owl. Yeah, bring him, bring him up to speed. All right, so you, you're either... So we need to get you in. We have ways to get in that we think will work, but we need to get you in. And we can either get you in a day ahead where you kind of hide out and wait for us to meet up. And make sure you wear your mat or have your magic hat with you so that you can change your disguises as right. needed. Or so we either sneak you in or you get owl dropped by um, Finistel. She turns into an owl, picks you up, and drops you somewhere in the uh, castle. 
No, I like the wine idea. idea. Let's wine, wine it up. Why, why not? not? Why not? You better believe it. <laughs> All right. You can butter them up. You get them in the barrel. So yeah, Swabi so would have told you that Klotz Winery is the uh, is the provider to the castle. And so you would have to uh, infiltrate that and get Flyas <laughs> into one of the casks um, that's destined uh, for, All right. for the castle. Just I don't know how this is going to happen. Should, Should we head down to the water? Uh, our wine holes in the, in the wine um, barrel. You don't want to do another like good place in Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> I've already seen that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what happened? Someone, Someone got stuck in a barrel? <laughs> Something like that. Ooh. Well, there's a bunghole, right? <laughs> hey, don't put anything in my bunghole. <laughs> I need TP. On my bunghole. Yeah, how are you going to do this? I was, di I was saying it as a joke. But if there was an empty barrel... You could do water breathing. Do you have any buns of water breathing left? Buns of water breathing? I don't know. Uh, I think I, I think I do. But I'm questioning whether that's the best use for it. So he's breathing wine, though. He's breathing wine. <laughs> Is it a bun of wine breathing? I have a red bun. There's definitely a serious downside to that plan, but we'll see. And... Didn't someone have a water? No. For some reason, oh, but no, Mr. Twizzard just is able to hold his breath underwater for like 10 minutes or something like that. Some ridiculously long time. But why can't I do that? I mean, of course I can, but why, why can't I do that? I don't know, you looked it up. I think constitution? It's, yeah, I think it's based yeah, on your right. constitution. Hey, okay. Constitution is nuts. Plus four. I don't know if that means... That, that doesn't mean I'm going in the wine barrel. <laughs> well, you could also empty the wine barrel. That's <laughs> right. I figured it would be an empty wine barrel. I figured that's or what he'd be doing. Well, he could be like, he could be like half full when it starts, and then I'll just it'll be empty when when I'm ready to go. That's something for you to pass the time. Yeah. yeah. Unless you get put upside down. And, and you, you can't, can't write, write yourself up. up. Ooh, we better hope that doesn't happen. It's yeah. a 50 50 shot, right? I think it's best if there's no wine in it, except <laughs> I think it's just heavy because of Pelias. Oh my god. Just to mention, so we're basically counting on all of these plans working. <laughs> rather, rather than picking one and hoping that one works, we're hoping that the total, like, all of the plans work. <laughs> well, it's kind of like Splitting up your relatives on airplanes so that if one crashes and you still got three more relatives, now if one fails, we still got four other plans. That's exactly what it's like. Just less depressing. Do you have a better series of eight plans there, Frederick? <laughs> Sorry? Do you have a better series of eight plans? I'm probably just losing the one where Polias gets into a wine barrel and spends, it, spends overnight there. What are your plans that are so great? Well, the ones we talked about, dude. We're, we're, we're going to uh, polymorph someone into an owl and fly us into the castle. Okay. I can, um, what, you're going to polymorph everyone and you're, you're, you're going to all fly into the castle or? Well, oh. I don't have that power, but I, I think, uh, I think uh, uh, Lily and, and Twizzard were still going to like attend the ball as guests with that fake yes. invitation. Oh, you don't want to go as bodyguard? And I'm going to go with them, too, so you guys are on your own. Yeah, why don't I just put the hat on and be a guest? Let's just kidnap a guest, and I can be the guest. Well, that works, too. It does work, too. Well, Should we put the guest in the wine barrel? Well, the thing is, you would have to have seen the guest and heard the, and be able to do their voice well enough. Yeah, well, we can do some recon. Yeah, I think we can do that. We have a day. Okay. We don't need much more than that. We need five we minutes. Need, we need a guest list, and we need um, uh, approximately someone my size and my voice type. To make it easier. All right. All right. How would you like to conduct this recon? Because I'm here for it. 
Let's find let's find the guest list. How can we get a guest list? Oh, some party planning committee's got it in the castle. Okay. So we'll fly you in. Okay. Get the guest list. <laughs> or you can hide in a barrel of wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this isn't going well. Okay. Wait wow. till like they come in, and as someone's passing, we grab them. When we tie them up, and I become them. Where are we waiting? Like at the castle, or a little bit further away down the road, like in the trees. <laughs> right by the guard station. <laughs> yeah. You can do uh, misdirect. Yeah, we, we can even like throw a throw a misdirect out there and have them come toward us, so we can just drop them in a pit or something. If we drop the fog cloud at the gate, you think they would uh, raise their eyebrows at that? Oh my god! Well, what you might need to do is put the fog cloud somewhere else, and then do gust of wind, maybe to push it in a particular direction, so that it's not super like you can't see anything in the fog cloud but that it's just like uh, some fog rolled in from the uh, water. Well, we, so we, if we see someone that he could impersonate, we could easily cause some distraction so that we can get our chance to, uh, to take them and replace him with Pelias. You know, knock out some servant and pl that Pelias is in. Where did you guys get big invitations anyway? Well, we, we have the one from last year. Well, what if we just use that and I, you know, whoever's good at um, forging could, could and, and, and then Plyus, you and I could be a couple. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, but Plyus, understand that this is a matriarchal society, so you're essentially nothing compared to Finistal. Okay. Just letting you know. I got the hat. I can be matriarchal, too. Ooh, two ladies. I could work. <laughs> She's like, who, it was that. who is good at forging? Um, Lily has a sleight of hand of only plus three. I'm only done a little bit of blacksmith. Oh! oh. oh Are we going to do one imitation that invites like five people? No, we should split up. So we need two imitations. Well, here's the thing. If Finistel wants to be the mother, I can be the daughter. Someone could be the husband, and we could have two bodyguards. Okay. Are we but sure? But the... Mr. Twizzer just spent all that money on that beautiful outfit. He needs to be a noble. Oh, I'm still going like that. And my name is Bulk Hogan. <laughs> that, that's a long well, story, Chris. What? <laughs> um. Are we sure the bodyguard idea is going to work? <laughs> when, when, does one usually bring a bodyguard to a ball? Well, with the fact that the king and the queen went missing, mm. I think it's important that we are protecting ourselves against whoever might be doing such terrible things. Could not we say that on the invitation? Hmm. <laughs> We always well, always bring your own bodyguard. But would it say that on the invitation? I mean, you like, would know that it didn't say. Ultimately, it doesn't need to say that on the invitation. We could just try to get us in, and if not, there is nothing about a bodyguard on last year's invitation. I'll say that much. But they might not have needed bodyguards last year. Does our invitation have to match every other invitation? Can it be specifically it's tailored for this year's invitation? I, I'm 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 just saying, like, regardless of what year's invitation, we're trying. To, we're we're uh, uh, faking our way into the ball, and in addition to having a bootleg invitation, we're also going to try to get additional people in that are then are that is specified on the invitation. Mm -hmm. which might well work, but um. I guess we certainly wouldn't allow any weapons. Mm -hmm. So they might not like the idea of a bodyguard. They might say, uh, well, you're not allowed to have any weapons in the ball anyway, so you're safe. It's a monk bodyguard. He, his so, hands and fists are his weapons. So, Stephen, uh, or, or Benrick, what you're saying here is, Ballsy, 
Stupid, but ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Um, I mean, I, I just want to have a plan, like, if they refuse entry. Like, the, mo the, the more likely thing I kind of feel like is, like, where the bodyguards are refused entry, you guys get in. And, I mean, maybe it's just we revert to one of the other plans if that happens. Like, you guys, like you guys are good, and then, like, cool. Who, who would it be? Polysony or Twizzardy or Polysony? Well, the problem is we would need at least one person on the outside that could polymorph. Or one on the inside. So I go up real high. I turn to an owl. I go fly everyone, make a couple of trips, get everyone to the top and drop them off. Then I un-owl, and then we go back downstairs. Twisted, how many times um, are you able to cast Polymorph in a day? Uh, well, I don't need no, to he do would, it. No, he would Polymorph himself, fly down, grab Polias, bring Polias in, fly back, grab Finric, and fly him in. So I could do it three times. If, 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 um, yes, I... I if you want me to be uh, as large an asset as I think you want me to be in this fight, it would be better if I did not waste my Here's arcane it. energy on Polymorph that day, then. Gotcha. So then, what if... So oh. let's, let's assume that either it goes well and all of us get in, in which case it's a moot point, or it's just that bodyguards can't get in. So Polymorph, how close do you need to be to those people? Do you just need to see them? No, I think you have to touch them. Well, no, oh no, no, polymorph just cast. I wouldn't polymorph you guys. I'd go to the, like, some top area and polymorph myself. Fly out a window. Yeah, and I go and pick you up. Does polymorph give you, like, super strength? Well, I've got my big talents. Yeah. You would be able to carry a, a medium-sized person. Yeah, an owl, a, a, a great owl, you could carry one... Yeah, I mean, depending on the weight, I mean, you could you could carry that most three, one on your back, one in each talon. That would slow your movement a lot, but you'd be able to do it. But you could also make just make multiple trips. I mean, and like Fenric is small, Finistel is not small but fairly light. Pelias has some armor and some stuff, so he would be heavier. But yeah, aren't there going to be some guards that are like going to be looking out for stuff like that? Well, I'll just drop you guys on the guards, knock them out. <laughs> so yeah, there's definitely those problems. They're simple. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe we can just spot somewhere because no one attacks from above, so maybe they'll have first. like good spots. Is, is my favorite plan. And um, how far can I summon my dagger? It says I can summon it as a bonus action to my hand as long as it's on the same plane of existence. Yeah, I mean. There, there's your answer, I guess. All right, so I can leave it at the buttery, Billy's buttery bottom now, butter. Does it like, biscuit. does it like fly through the air or does it just materialize? I don't know. I'm assuming it flies through the air. Well, it just kills a bunch of people on the way there. I mean, it is a magical, it's a magical bond. So maybe it is one that can, um, Poof in and out? I, I don't know. This is an Eldritch Knight thing? Yeah, it's called Weapon Bond. Once complete, you cannot be disarmed of the weapon unless you are incapacitated, and yeah. you can summon it as a bonus action to your hand if it's on the same plane of existence. You can have up to two bonded weapons. I, I, I'm looking at, maybe this is an errata or something, but it's causing it to teleport instantly to your hand. So, it's a teleport. Oh, so, alright. So, as long as it's same plane of existence, yep. bam, it's in my hand. I love it. Yep. Perfect. That's awesome. Why don't I have this with two weapons? Maybe Lily is going to spend an hour to um, magic weapon bond with her, um, her great, great, great uncle or grandfather or whoever Silas is to her his scimitar can you be bonded to more than one weapon it says I can have up to two bonded weapons oh well then yeah bonded, well, bonded now, up I'm assuming if I was to get a better weapon 
that I could change the bond as long as I did the one hour rep, um, ritual. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, so if I it's do like a it tuning with the, to it, so yeah. All right, so as as long as it's no more than two at a time. I think that all right. sounds right. Right. All right. So then I think that um, Willie, at some point today, whenever we have the time, is sure. going to bond to uh, the scimitar. Easily done. Nice. It's exciting. All right. So we've got. We've got main plan is. What's the main plan? Conjured no, invitation. Fake. Conjured invitation. Yeah. So I can only really do one of those. So I'm just going to put down all four of us. But there's five of us. I'm going to put down all five of us. Do we want to try to forge the uh, last year's invitation into a new invitation? Oh, like actually forge it? I, uh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, let's do that. That, that works even better. Right, mm-hmm. which is why you can now do Brogan into Hogan. Why would we not be Hogan's? <laughs> right. That's our name. So the name that's currently on last year's invitation is Brogan. All right. Do we need a, a forger? Or can one of us do it? Who's got steady hands? Good handwriting. Don't you have conjugation? I do, but so that only lasts an hour, whatever I make. And it also glows. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, how long do we need an invitation for? Yeah, so in order to not make it glow, I have a spell I can cast, then it costs me a spell slot. So that's why I was like, okay, we're going to get everyone under the same invitation. Yeah. So, um, mm. I, I... Well, can we say the Brogan family? Or not Brogan, but maybe... The Hogan family. The Brogans are going to be there. No, Hogan's we have Hogan's to do it. A... I know, but I don't <laughs> think we're going to be will. able to take a B and make it into an H. Well, that's only if we're using the physical one we already have. Yeah. I, I just I I don't know. We're gonna make a new one. If 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 balls if we could perhaps see another invitation of this well, year. Well you can Oh, this year's invitation. Well, I don't Ooh. know how much it differs. I'm just So how do we do that? I doubt that it's a family ball either, like Yeah. Well there could be I mean it could be two couples. There, there could be two couples of royals from the same house. That, that is, that's fair. That's a good point. Um, what if? Okay, how do we get? Uh, how do we get an invite? I guess. Do we have to sneak in again and look at the invitations, or where would they have gotten them written up? Can we find the guy? It probably is at the same um, stationery shop that I got my paper from. So let's go back to the stationery shop. Let's kick that door down. Oh yeah. All right. So so no wine barrel. We're not going to the winery. That's that's uh, not yet. Not yeah, yet. That's okay. the next stop. Okay. That is Plan C. We should stop for wine though. <sighs> um. So you're going back to the stationery store. Yes. I believe this is where I got my paper for writing a note. And did I get a map here as well? I think you did get a map, yes. I am trying to see if I took any notes whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I can't I can't seem to find my notes. We'll just uh we'll just uh yeah, okay. You guys go back to the stationery store, which of course is the same thing I said last time. <sighs> Um, yep, nope, you go back to that stationary store. That's where you go. It's still here, that's good. I mean, that makes sense because it's stationary. Uh, uh, wow. Yeah. Uh. All right, yeah, you go to, uh, it's the, uh, it's the Gilded Quill. The Gilded Quill is where you go. Just in case you forgot the name of it. Uh, All right. Is there anyone else in the store? Besides, uh, hopefully, is the shopkeeper there? The shopkeeper is there. Uh, it is a elf, uh, tall, uh, female, sort of silvery hair. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I can't remember anything about the last time you were there. So, all right. Maybe it's if it's not the same person, it's their assistant. But anyway, 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no one else is in the store actually right now. All right. Does anyone want to take point for the talking? Yeah. Who, who all is going in? I'll go. Nice. All right. So it's just Twizzard and Fenric. I'm not gonna say anything. So it's um, just Fenric. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can I can go in there with Cynric because I have been in there before. All right. Are, are we threatening or are we trying to coerce? Or are we um, sweet talking? I think probably coerce oh. or sweet talk. I mean, right. just feel it out. Yeah, I mean, the 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 issue is if we alert him. Then we have to kill him. Um, you want to be like a big fan of calligraphy, and you like to see different examples of nice work. Or is that just so stupid? <laughs> it's okay. You're trying to design your own invitation. Do you have any examples of nice ones? And who's... Do you ultimately need to see this? Yeah, he needs to see it. And he's gonna conjure it. Oh, I thought we were gonna get it forged now. No. Uh, well... Well, I could conjure it and then someone could forge it. Maybe. Like, draw it. <laughs> You've got one hour. Okay. <laughs> uh... Oh, where, how, how are we doing this? I like to think that you're just sort of, you've entered the store and you're just standing there. We're silent. looking around. We're browsing. I'm feeling the parchment paper. Of course, I'm swirling of the bottles of ink. Of course. I mean, I like the like oh, seeing examples of work like like we're. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Um, do you yes. happen to have a Starting. sample of um of maybe your work or? Your calligraphy, we're thinking about maybe having a little um, gathering before everyone leaves for, um, you know, the end of the festival. And um, we were thinking about maybe having some invitations made up, just a small set. Um, do you do invitations here? Oh, of course, yes, yes. We are, we are known for our invitations. Uh, you want to have the party tonight, though? Oh, no, no, no. This would be after the big gala. We don't want to step on anyone's toes, of course. Of course, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, I could show you some uh, some samples. And she sort of like opens up this book and there's like different parchments and like different uh, writing styles, different colored inks. She sort now, of I was it. thinking to go with this year's theme, yeah, you know, so that it seems kind of just a continuation of tomorrow's gala. Um, would you happen to have any uh, suggestions for how we might be able to carry that theme over to our own invitations? Give me a persuasion check. Oh. 14. 14. Ah, well, uh, see, uh, you mean like use the same sort of parchment, the same sort of style? Um, I think, I mean, we don't need it to be the invitation for this year because no, no, clearly no, everyone course, already no. has that invitation. Indeed, indeed. But um, similar color scheme, similar font. Of course, you know, all of the information will be different. Of course, um, of course. We yeah. Just, yeah, I guess we just sort, sort of want to, what, like cue off the aesthetic? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that is that what we want? It sounds reasonable. We want to make sure that people know that it's it's just a continuation, really, and it's going to be just a very small gathering. So we're really only going to be asking some of the finest of the uh, of the court to um, to join us. Oh, this is the after party. I'm sorry. What is a? Uh, I am. Uh, I do not believe we have met. Oh, I was in here the other day. Oh right, Shiza. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Your hair looks like never in my store now. No. Um, <laughs> But that's all right. I've been in and out and coming and going. And I know my apologies. My been. apologies. I'm so sorry. Uh, of course. Of course. Um, I'm sorry. What was the name again? Oh, Copperhead. Beverly. Copperhead. Of course. Beverly Hogan. And then I, 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 I brush back my shawl a bit to show my... Ah, very good. Um, yes, I have, uh, I have similar... Um, we could make it. We could make it in the same vein as your, as the, uh, as the ball invitation, if you wanted. Okay. Um. Would you be able to maybe do a sample, and then we could maybe come back later and maybe go over the specifics, um, what we might want to have changed, how many we might want, or if it's really uh, not the direction that we're heading, and maybe something completely different. Oh, and then. Uh, when is it? When do you need these again? Um. Well, it probably would not be. Definitely not on. Um, <laughs> what's the, the day? The we talk. Yeah, so no, no. Dark. 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 It's definitely not tall, and it's definitely not dark. I'm thinking it's going to have to be dark. Oh, of course. I could work on that timeline. Uh, give me, give me a precision check one more time. Because now they're like thinking 17. like... 17. What is it? 17? 17. So now they're thinking like, oh my gosh, are they going to do this? Like, and then you're going to not want it. Uh, so you have the invitation to the ball? I mean, I can um, make it look exactly like that. Are you going to the ball? Well, actually, we haven't decided yet. We're going to see... Um, who's actually going tomorrow, and then we'll decide if we want to actually attend. We did get an invitation, but I do not have it on me. Oh, well, then you are familiar with the invitation. I could make it look exactly like that if you want. Um, not with the royal crest, of course. Right. But, no, of course yeah, not. Of course but not. Um, definitely, yeah, the, the closer you can make it look, the more it'll seem as though it is... Oh, yes. Um, a, a part of, of the whole festival. If you did not know, we this is where the invitations... We made these invitations, so I can do it. If you would give me the information right now, I could get started and, and uh, you know, perhaps have a proof by tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yes, I think that that would be good. Um, so we're going to have it... Um, she takes out a pad and starts writing. Um, so it's going to be on Dilk, and you, uh, it is going to be uh, sponsored by the Copperhead oh. Estate, Estate? Uh, which of course um, is just outside of Oxford, so people would have to travel a little bit, so um, I would like to get these out maybe at the ball, passing them out at the ball, but of course, you know, if that's not possible, I understand. And we would probably only need maybe about 10. All right, all right, all right. All and right. I won't need any names because I feel like if I do decide to attend the ball, I'll just give them to the 10 most important people that I meet. Oh, very clever, very clever. All right. Um, yes, I, I will uh, I will. Uh, I will do my best to have them for you tomorrow then. Um, there's this is the discussion of payment um, for this ten uh, with the quality that I think you want to uh, exude with these invitations and the sort of a bit of a rushed timeline getting them ready for tomorrow. I would say ten invitations, say ten gold, perhaps five now, five tomorrow. Um, how about this? Can you um, maybe have a sample for later on today so we can just make sure everything is correct? I will give you two gold now. I will give you three gold later and then five gold the next day if it is as we as we like. Give me another persuasion check. <laughs> I'm getting better and better. 20. All right. 
Uh, yes, okay. Uh, what uh, what time would you like to come by tonight? Uh, it is, uh... Um, well, let's say um, a little bit before closing so that I'm not impeding on your mm. end of the day. All right, say, uh, say 5 p.m. 5 p.m. sounds wonderful, and then that'll give us time to... Uh, to get some dinner afterwards. Yeah, sounds great. Wonderful. Here is two gold. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. i see you later today. Thanks for all your help, Benrick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Integral. Integral part of that. You get the next three gold. I'm not the one that negotiated the... Uh, no, um... Uh... There's no chance that she's going to cross-check your name against the invite list, right? I don't know. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, now that Sean's going to be thinking of it, now he's going to roll for it. <laughs> you are really persuasive, so I don't think that's uh, it's really a, a concern. So it's going to look identical to the real ones, right? But not have the same information. And not well, it won't have the names. And it won't have the royal seal. And, and, and it won't have the royal seal. Which but is we just have, the wax bar, right? Well, we have the previous year's invitation that does have the royal seal, so you can conjure it to make sure that it has the royal seal. And I can, then I can conjure with the, the royal old year and put the wax seal on today. Or you know. Right, right, right. Doesn't matter if that glows. Right, because the, the oh, seal anyway. itself can disappear and it's just the impression in the wax. Will the impression in the wax disappear? If he conjures a seal. If you conjure a seal and you press it into real wax, that would still exist. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Just need to conjure the seal. Done. Watch me, I'll conjure 50 seals. <laughs> wow. All right, all right. So you've got, you've got a pretty solid plan. Um, anything else you want to do on the gall? Bond with my weapon. Bond with your weapon. Then at five o'clock, pick up the sample. Probably order more. Maybe make a change. Be like, oh, you know what? I'm thinking we should have a time on this. Oh, of course. Have to tell course. you a time. And yeah, and I think maybe we'll only need six. And I don't know if we want to put that in now. I don't know. We could fast forward. I don't care. All right. So that order is in. You pick it up the next day. All right. So I think I think we'll break there. Uh, we'll pick up next time after you've all had a long rest at Billy Bottoms, Billy Butter Wait, Bottoms. so hold on. Yeah. After we pick up, after we pick up the actual invitation, should we start making the forgery with the seal and all that stuff? Like, sure, sure. You could do that. All right. Are you we going to, to, right? I know, but I'm just saying that that would probably be before the long rest. Are you going to purchase? similar paper and inks then when you go back at five can we just fill in the names yeah. well no the sample that i bought is of information about the copperheads right right it's not the right you but need... it would be in the correct it would say copperhead properly so we could make an invitation and just go over it with copperhead Yeah, let's say, and yeah, well, yeah, you, you would have to purchase the equivalent paper and inks. Oh, I feel like that's going to be Yeah, that's going to be super expensive. Uh, no. It's going to be cheaper than buying the invites. Yeah, it's going to be cheaper than the invites. All right, all right. All right, well then, how about the next time we go back, or when I took a look at the sample? Yeah. Um, We'll only need six more, and we would like to put the, the time in as um, as 8 p.m. 
Of course, of course. These are easily done. And um, would you happen to have um, some of these inks and parchment for sale so I can maybe make a menu? Oh, of course, of course. Yes, you could give it to your chef, perhaps. Um, and she leads you over to the equivalent paper and inks. Uh, so basically, you'd be paying three more gold. So you gave her two. All right, I got this. Gave one. her two. You're gonna give then her I'm going to give her three, but we don't. We're not going to do all ten. Now we're doing six. Right. So could we just make it ten for everything again? Instead of having is that so ten fun? invitations, we'll have six invitations and, and paper four and inks. It's perfectly fine. Golds. Perfectly fine. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I got this one. Yay! All right. All right. So, did you do three, and then we'll do the five tomorrow when we pick it up? Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. All right. All right. So now you have. So yeah. Do you? Yeah. Let's. You want to do the forgery tonight then? Yeah, I think so. I mean, might as well do it. What it's going to take? What two minutes for us to talk about making a forgery? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have good handwriting. Who's gonna uh, Who's gonna forge? I've got pretty good dexterity. Mm. Forgery. Well, we do have we do have a couple pieces of parchment, right? So if the first one doesn't look too good, we can yeah, always. Yeah, you have a couple pieces. I'm gonna say oh, your that. Your dexterity's real good. I'm gonna say really, it's deception. I, I'll say deception or sleight of hand, whoever's choice. All right, well, deception, I have plus one. Sleight of hand, I have plus three. I have plus four to support. This is dark. My deception's not so great. I have plus four deception. Uh, if only we had Agnes here. She's plus eight sleight of hand. What do you got, Plyas? Uh, looking... And you're basically using, you're using the one that you have as a model. So, so as a model. We could actually probably somewhat trace over it yeah. if it's a light enough parchment. Yeah, so it's, it's a lower DC. You basically lowered the DC for this. All right, who's doing it? Um... I'll roll a sleight of hand to see how I do, but we do, once again, we do have multiple pieces of parchment. What's your sleight of hand? Three? Plus three. So, I've, I've got a four for deception, and Steve, you said had a four for sleight of hand. Yeah. Oh, maybe you should yeah. do sleight of hand. Maybe one of us should do it. And to be fair, Twizzard would have a lot of the ability practice. to write. A lot of practice writing, yeah. exactly. You know. Why don't we go with Twizzard? See what we get. If All you right. assist him, uh, he'll have advantage. Sure, I'll assist him. He's, he's a good dude. All right. Help, help me roll. Oh, 21. Right. Yeah. Still using my... Roll yep. again just for fun. Yeah, no, 21 it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, no. Um, you sort of... Probably back at the buttery bun uh, at the at the inn, uh, and you're sort of like you know, maybe even conjure. Or, you know, you you have last year's in front of you. You have uh, you have the new one, and you feel really confident that you have forged a a uh, uh, an invitation uh, in the style of this year's, which is slightly. You notice some differences. You notice a slightly different colored ink. Uh, the parchment's a uh, different size from last year's. It is, you, you, you gain the sort of the, the, the crest uh, and the sort of uh, castle specific information from last year's and you combine that with what you know of this year's from your recent things and you feel very confident that you have a royal onslaught ball invitation. Now is this one the copperhead? Did we use the name Copperhead? Whatever, nope. whatever you were gonna use. What are you right. gonna use? Okay. Hulk Hogan and family. <laughs> no, please don't. 
But it wouldn't be and his family. It would be Madam Hogan and her family. It would be the two Hogan couples. It would be like Madam whatever and and then the other and like it would be basically list both of them. I feel like so. Madam Hogan and um, Madams. It would probably be Madams Hogan because there's going to be two of us, uh -huh. two females, and um, Madams Hogan and Copperhead. And husbands, and then maybe there is a boy Hogan. Wait a minute, hold on. No. So you're making one invitation for how many guests? But we're going to conjure one. Five. I think we're saying four. Why are you why are we conjuring it if we're forging we're it right it. now? So <laughs> that we can get... Why am I, why am I sitting here with You my, have multiple my, pieces of parchment. <laughs> my dexterous hand. I'm only conjuring the seal to put it in the wax. <laughs> We're going to hand him real pieces of paper. Maybe we can decide that next week. <laughs> what? Okay, we'll want to... Let's say you have you have three pieces of paper. You nailed the first one. So you could try to, to make two real, <laughs> no conjuration necessary invitations. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Oh, I was hoping that roll counted for all three. <laughs> no, you'll do one for each one. Oh, boy. All right, so we'll make another? Yeah, make another. Steve, you want to roll on this one? Sure, let's do it. All right. Are you going to help me? Yes. I'll hold your hand steady. Uh, cool, because the 12, 12 for the first one. 21. All right, yeah. Nice. I, you know, working together, you, I mean, you did a lot of research. You've yeah. got the right paper. You've got the right inks. You've got the thing from last year for the information you don't have from the... Yeah, you have two really well-forged invitations yeah yeah in whatever names you want each each good for two people basically all right so we just have to get one wait it's not just one more person it's finistel too no it's five people all together that's finistel getting in finistel polias can be a couple and then lily and someone can be a couple and then we have one more person but i feel like we could have if it's a, if it's siblings or something like that, siblings yeah, you, and then a you husband. could either, you could modify, you could, you could, you could, you could try to have one invitation say three, whether that's normal or not, you're not sure. You could try for a third invitation. Cause you have one more piece left. And you can also conjure. Or you could conjure one. Yeah. You've got options. Now, let me ask, um, there are three guys. Is it going to be weird for there to be an invite for one person to this ball, and that person is a man? Well, Polias can wear a hat of disguise and be a woman. Yes. Perfect. I like this. Want to roll again for that third invite? Yeah, we might as well. What well, we got to lose, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, for buddy, I'll help you out. All right. Let me roll. Let's see. Deception, right? Yep. Okay. Fifteen. All right. What was that? 12. 15. All right. All right. So you have two high quality and one slightly less quality. Uh, but you're still, running out of ink. It's still good. Yeah, you're running out of ink a little and you're you know, getting tired, getting a little nervous. That's uh, cramping. So, yeah, it's I, th I think I think what what I think the I think the key thing, your your, your homework for next time. What names? names what names? You know what? What names? What names are on the two good ones, and what name is on the slightly less good one? And we'll figure that out. And we'll tune in uh, in two weeks to see how this all goes down at the ball on the tall. Be there or miss out, everyone. Um, wow. <laughs> thank you all for playing. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on B and D Live. <laughs>